It's said that Japanese ninjas have lightning-fast reflexes, so fast that they can supposedly catch arrows shot straight at them with their bare hands. To test this claim, Jimmy set up a small experiment. He attached a tennis ball to the tip of an arrow to make the test safer for Adam and marked the shaft to measure the force of each shot. Jimmy then aimed the arrow at a trash can while Adam stood nearby ready to catch it. For the first shot, they used the lowest power setting. Adam missed. That's because he only reacted after the arrow was fired. On the second try, he decided to predict Jimmy's movement. He reached out the moment Jimmy released the arrow. And to everyone's surprise, he actually caught it. Jimmy then increased the power, and Adam caught it again. But since the added tennis ball made the arrow heavier, its speed dropped by about a third, and Adam only managed to grab the very end of the shaft. This wasn't enough to prove that real ninjas could actually catch fast arrows. So they brought in the head of a ninja association to measure his reaction time. Using a bicycle chain, they built a mechanical hand, and Adam rigged up a timed shooting system. The setup was designed so the hand would clench at the exact moment the arrow was released. Even after several attempts, the mechanical hand couldn't catch the arrow. They then delayed the arrow's release by 200 milliseconds so the hand moved first, but it still failed. Finally, they made the hand react five times faster than a human. Only then did it manage to catch the arrow. That kind of reaction time is way beyond what humans are capable of. So the myth was officially busted. But just when they thought it was over, a real ninja stepped up and confidently declared that he was ready for a real bare-handed arrow-catching challenge.